Hi, this is uh, the first notes, uh, the first video on the notes 3 3 finding relative max and min. And this is the first example. It says find the open intervals where f of x equals x squared is increasing or decreasing and, the relati and find the relative extrema. Determine whether that relative extrema is a relative min or max. And that's what we're taking a look. And the first thing we want to do is find the open intervals. And uh, to find the open intervals, in our first step, we're going to find the critical numbers. Why? All critical numbers are potential spots for where the function goes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing. Those only occur at cr critical numbers. So what we're going to do to be able to do that, to find those critical numbers, I'm going to take, take the derivative. Let me make sure I have something to write with here. I'm going to take the derivative of f of x equals x squared, and I'm going to find the derivative, and the derivative of that is going to be 2x. And then to find those critical numbers, I'm going to take that derivative, I'm going to make it equal to 0. Now, you need to make sure you take the derivative of the numerator and the, you need to, if the derivative has a numerator and a de denominator where the variable is in, you have to assign both of those to 0. And obviously 2x is the same as 2x o over 1, so 2x, when I make it equal to 0, I'm making the numerator equal to 0. So I'm going to solve that, and x is going to be equal to 0. So that creates two intervals from negative infinity to that critical number, that critical number of 0, and from 0 to positive infinity. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I write it as a test point or a test value. And what I'm going to do is choose a number within that interval, something relatively easy. And so I'm going to choose a negative 1 because that's in the interval between negative infinity and 0. And over here the test point I'm going to choose is 1. It doesn't have to be complicated, something that's just within that interval. And then I'm going to plug that value into the derivative and simply look at the sign that I get. So 2, which is positive, times a negative 1 is a negative value. Now what does a negative value mean? Well, the negative value of the derivative within that interval means that within this interval, the entire derivative is negative. From negative infinity to 0, the derivative is negative, which means the slopes of the tangent lines are negative, which I'm able to go even further that the function itself, f of x, is decreasing. And that's my symbol for de decreasing. And like I've told other students, that's only my symbol. And don't use, be using it on an AP test. Next, I'm going to plug 1 in again into the derivative. And I have a positive 2 times a positive 1. And that means I have a uh, positive answer. And so that means my slopes are positive, and it means my f of x is increasing. Now, notice at 0, I change signs. I change from a negative to a positive. So my graph at this point, I actually draw this underneath here. Here's where 0 is, right here. Here's my critical number of 0. And I'm going from decreasing to increasing. So 0 represents where a relative minimum exists. So here's my statement. Since the derivative changes from negative to positive. At x equals zero x equals 0 or the point 0, 0 is a relative minimum. And that's my first example. Alrighty, so uh, let me clear this and do the next one. And I'm going to get an image here. 
and my image is going to be the next example I have here which is on the notes and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger I think that's big enough and I'm going to make sure I have a brush here All right, so here's my equation. f of x equals 1 half x minus the sine of x, and it's in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, but it's an open interval. It's not a closed interval. So I'm supposed to find the relative extrema, which means find the relative mins and max of this particular function. So find the critical numbers. I'm going to first find the derivative, so I'm going to determine that, and I get 1 half minus derivative of 1 half x is 1 half minus the derivative of sine which is cosine and I'm going to let 1 half minus the cosine of x equal to 0 and I get the cosine of x equal to 1 half now the cosine of x is equal to 1 half at two spots within that interval it's pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 so I'm going to plug in pi over 3 in this interval, pi over 3 to 5 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3 to 2 pi. So notice when I have two critical numbers, what I'm going to end up is having three intervals. And again, I'm looking for a test point or a test value. And in here, I'm going to choose, oh, I think I'll choose uh, pi over 4. Here I'm going to choose pi. Here I'm going to choose um, th 3 pi over 4, I believe. I think that works. And when I put pi over 4 in here, I'm going to have, um, first I'm going to have 1 minus the cosine of pi over 4, the square root of 2 over 2. And this is like the square root of 1 over 2. And so you can see a square root of 1 is less than square root of 2, so it's going to be negative. That means f of x is decreasing. When I put pi in there, I'm going to have 1 half minus a negative 1. That's going to be positive. So that means f of x is increasing. Again, when I put square root of 3 pi over 4 in here, into my derivative, I'm going to have 1 half again minus the square root of 2 over 2, and I already determined that to be negative. So my function is decreasing. So I have uh, two relative extrema, and the first one I'm going to write is since uh, the derivative of x switches. from negative to positive at x equals pi over 3 x equals pi over 3 is A, now look, it goes from decreasing to increasing. So it is a relative minimum. Okay, the next one goes from increasing and then up and then switches to decreasing. So since f prime of x changes, I'll use changes this time just to give you a different flavor, changes from positive to negative, x equals 5 pi over 3, or I should say at x equals pi over 3 comma x equals 5 pi over 3 is a relative, I almost ran out of room here, relative maximum and that's what I'm looking for for a statement. 
Alrighty.